Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the 2022 Q60B and Q80B 4K QLED models from Samsung, and talk about why you might choose one over the other. For the purposes of this video, though, when I talk about the Q80B series, the features that I mentioned are gonna to apply to the models 55 inches and up. We'll start off looking at the designs. The first thing you may notice is the difference in colors. The Q80B comes in a tight and black finish while the Q60B has a lighter tight and gray finish. Maybe even more obvious though is the pedestal style. The 60 has two wide set feet which could potentially be a problem if you have a narrower entertainment stand. The 80 has a center mounted pedestal that works with a wider variety of stands. Now with the 60 you can adjust the height of the pedestal to be low profile or soundbar ready but if your stand isn't wide enough then it won't really matter all that much. I'll put all the widths of the 60s pedestals in the description down below. Another design difference to point out is the depth. The 60 is only one inch deep without the pedestal, which can look great on the wall with a slim mount. The 80 is more than double that depth at 2.2 inches, which isn't outrageously deep by any stretch, but will stick out a little bit further from the wall. And there's a good reason for that extra depth. The 80 is direct lit and the 60 is not, which I'll talk about a little later on in the video. Next are the connections. The 80 comes with four HDMI 2.1 inputs, which can all handle gaming features like variable refresh rates and 4K at 120 hertz. The 60 only has three HDMI connections, and because this is a 60 hertz panel, you don't get those same gaming features. Does that mean gaming is gonna be bad on the 60? No, not at all, especially for casual gamers. It just won't necessarily be as smooth as it would be on the 80. The other small difference is the 80 has an RS-232C input and the 60 does not, meaning the 60 may not quite be as easy to integrate into a full home automation system. This is another feature that is only potentially gonna affect a very small portion of the population. Then we have the audio. The 80 comes with a 2.2.2 channel system that gets 60 watts of power, Dolby 5.1 channel decoding, and the ability to output true Dolby Atmos. The 60 has a two channel system with 20 watts of power, Dolby 2 channel decoding, and it can output Atmos, but it does it through Dolby True HD, which isn't quite as immersive as full Atmos sound. Not everyone's gonna notice that difference, but it's something to mention just in case you're one of those people who have a home theater that's already set up for true Dolby Atmos. In addition, the 80 has Samsung's active voice amplifier, which can make dialogue a little easier to hear when you're using the TV speakers. When it comes to gaming, the 80 has Samsung's dynamic black equalizer built in to make it easier to pick out details in dark areas of a game, surround sound, which can help you hear people or objects approaching from different directions, and the ability to run 4K at 120 hertz and use variable refresh rates. The 60 still gets the game bar feature to adjust picture settings based on the genre of game you're playing, which the 80 also has, but not all those other next-gen features. Finally, we have the picture, and here's where most of the major differences are gonna be found. With the Q80B, you get a 120 hertz panel with full array local dimming. The 60B is a 60 hertz dual LED panel, meaning the dimming capabilities and contrast on the 80 are going to be superior. The 80 is also capable of showing off better detail in HDR content, has better motion handling, and wider viewing angles. The 80's quantum processor 4K also does AI upscaling to help make lower resolution content look better. The 60B still upscales lower res content, but at a more basic level. The 80B also has brightness and color detection to help the picture intelligently adjust to the ambient lighting in the room. The 60B has brightness detection, but not color, so it can brighten and dim with the room lighting, but it won't optimize the colors along with that brightness. So which one should you get if you're choosing between these two? If you're someone who uses their TV primarily for watching movies and sports, or pretty heavily for gaming, or you're not planning on adding a soundbar to your home theater, you'll probably want to spend a little more and go with the Q80B. If you're a casual TV watcher that maybe plays video games every now and again, and you just want a nice looking picture at a more reasonable cost, you can save some money and go with the Q60B and you're still going to be perfectly happy. If you have any questions at all on the Q60B or Q80B series, or need some assistance finding the right TV for your home theater, be sure to contact our experts here at APT. We're here seven days a week and are always happy to help. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.